Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. This video is just a simple one of us practicing with some poles. Recently, I got a few more than just the average five that we have. So one day I decided to try and add in some zigzag pole work rather than just straight trotting poles. She's done it before, but that was like last year sometime. So it was a nice, interesting change to our little schooling sessions. Here I'm just testing the brakes and she's a bit moody about it. She wasn't quite herself that day. Not sure why, it was pretty hot, but you can see we're just testing things in walk first, which is just walking over the trotting poles. Initially she tripped over it, which is why the distance isn't even between them. But it's not super important because we're just walking at the moment. So we're going back downhill and that side for some reason she has a real issue walking downhill so that's a bit we have to practice pretty often she doesn't perform going downhill on the other side of the field but that bit is for some reason a bit of an issue for her this is the first time we kind of did the zigzag poles ridden as such and you can see she's not phased at all i kind of thought she might be because the poles were new they're a bit brighter she wasn't first she took her time you can see I'm still trying to keep a straight line because that's something that she struggles with and the perfect thing of having more poles is that can be used as a guide. And again we do it the other way. Just to keep her flexible on both reins. I mean it's the same centre line, it's the same kind of thing. But it's just practicing in both ways just so we check every, every box. I always find it easier having an actual physical object to use as a guide and it seems that she feels the same too so here we're just changing the rain you can see the little sketch that I drew artist in the making just to show the different kind of ways we practice or the different exercises you can do with the zigzag poles the perfect thing about this is you've got the point which is actually pretty difficult for them to decide to go over so you can see the second time she was better than the first it gives me as the rider something to really, really focus on and make sure I'm guiding her correctly and not just compromising. And then we just change things up again a little bit. With Carrie, the thing that I notice is I have to keep it interesting basically all the time. Otherwise she gets too bored. So we practice turning for flexibility, but if I kept doing that, she'd get super bored. So practice smaller circles, but with a reason of going over a pole. If I was just doing the loops without the poles, she gets a lot more agitated about it. So this is perfect to get her thinking, get her turning, but also give her some kind of reward, which is pole work. I mean, it's pretty slow, but it's all right. So then whenever we do something, like more complicated we make sure to go back to something that she's super familiar with which is just adding in the walking poles let's call them then we move up into trot just to get her feeling a bit fresher because she gets pretty lazy in walk and trot she's still gaining the confidence so add in the trotting poles you can see immediately her trot improved whereas when we first started the transition it was a very steady trot and here I'm just trying to get her mentally ready trying to line her up with the poles because she likes cutting corners you can see she's steady she's not quite tracking up but the moment we put the poles in she picks her feet up moves more forward again one of the reasons why pole work works <laughs> a lot for us so then I thought we could try trotting over the zigzag poles because it's a bit more challenging she has to figure out strides but you can see she didn't really have a problem with it Took it steady, did it both ways again. She she took a little little look, a bit unsure of herself, but that's okay. Always reassure them that they're doing the right thing, and still we're going back to that familiarity of continuing the straight line, not just allowing her to stop and do whatever. So that's it, we kind of ended on the simple note of just walking over the poles, stretching her legs out a little bit. We always do a cool down afterwards, but I do that not ridden so that she doesn't try and end the session quickly. You see, she's relaxed. That was our first little attempt, so thanks for watching.